Hi, this is Paul Stewart. Today we're going to take a look at our Grow Air product platform in the Aura air-cooled packaged cabinet. Uh, what I have in front of you here is a 12-ton unit. It's got electric auxiliary heat and um, we're just going to walk through the, the, the unit itself. It is a bottom return and a bottom supply, so this unit will sit on the roof. We'll pull, uh, ductwork will be brought up to the unit from the grow room and it will duck that back into the room. Okay, let's take a closer look. I'm at the intake end of the unit. Uh, we've got our nice hinged doors. Notice that this is a double wall uh, cabinet and I've got uh, two inches of polystyrene between the walls for insulation. Uh, inside this section, we are gonna have our filters. We've got our bottom return and then you can see the evaporator coil here along with the electronic expansion valve uh, and then the reheat coil is tucked in behind. So you've got a, we have a intake temperature humidity sensor right in behind this filter rack. That is going to measure the intake conditions of the air. We'll convert that to dew point and we get a good synopsis of what the, what the conditions are of the room coming back to the unit. And that's going to be used to help determine how many stages of operation, what leaving air temperature do we need, and etc. Um, but that's pretty much this intake section. Uh, filter rack is, uh, you know, pulls out to change filters. I did take the bottom one out here so you can kind of see how that all works. And uh, that's the intake section. Uh, the hot gas reheat coil is full sized, so you're going to get modulating hot gas reheat, um, and there's going to be plenty of reheat available when those compressors are running to rewarm the space for free should we need it, especially in a lights off nighttime mode of operation. All right, moving down to our next section. This is going to be our electrical panel. So we've got our operating controller. Uh, you've also got the important literature package that comes with every unit. This is going to have all the operating manuals for the owner. Additionally, we've got our wiring diagrams tucked in a, an envelope right here in the door. So you'll have all your wiring diagrams. And you can see you've got motor contactors, you have compressor contactors, you've got your main power feed coming in uh, to the electrical panel, transformers, and any other sort of uh, termination that the owner is going to do or the contractor is going to do for the room sensors is all going to be done in this cabinet. Uh, one thing I didn't point out is we do have these locking doors. Uh, they are nice mechanical doors. You can actually tighten up the, the tension by way of the latch here. So they're good positive feed there. And then we also have a unit enable on off on the outside of the unit. Uh, to actually turn the unit on and off in addition to that disconnect. Next cabinet is going to be the electrical um, kind of the blower. This is the front side, the electric heater. Again, we're, we're adding electric heat on this unit because this is going to a very northern climate and they would like, uh, they've indicated that they need some additional electric heat because of building heat loss in their room for wintertime operation. Uh, so this is an SCR electric heater and um, you know it's tucked in here and that's what you've got on this cabinet section. And then our last section on this side is going to be the compressor receiver uh, mechanical vestibule and you can also see this is where our condenser fan uh, it, fans are located up top and our coils are around the, the side of the unit. So in here you're going to see our tandem compressor set, you're going to see our accumulator, you're going to see our receiver there in the back, and on this unit, again, Northern Climate, they've asked for a um, receiver blanket. So we're putting a receiver blanket on this to keep that receiver warm during, uh, during cold winter, winter months. The other item we have in here is going to be our air guard box. So this unit actually is outfitted with the air guard box. It's a weather tight cabinet, but inside of there is our actual air guard hardware kit. And lastly, on this side, you'll see the disconnect. Um, this again is an option. Customers asked for a non-fused disconnect. We've mounted it here and it's wired up into the main electrical panel. So that's the, the primary service side of the unit. We'll flip this unit around and we'll take a look at the, the secondary service side. All right, so we're on the back side of the unit. I like to refer to this as a secondary service side. And a couple things I want to point out before we even open up the cabinets are going to be this unit has been outfitted with hail guard. So there's a nice screening protecting our uh, condenser 
uh, fan for uh, heat dissipation to the, uh, to the ambient environment. So that's there. And as we start now looking on the secondary service side itself, one other thing I want to point out is our roof uh, structure. Uh, this is sloped from the primary side to the back side. So on a normal rain day, water is going to be leaving this roof coming off on this side. So that uh, keeps the electrical panel from having any drip over there if you happen to be in it on a rainy day and you've got an umbrella. Um, but as we move up and take a look at the cabinets over here, the first one you'll see here in the middle is actually the blower access panel. So you'll see our EC driven blower in this unit. And uh, if you take a quicker look, uh, another look, you can see the electrical uh, heater in this unit as well. So you're going to have access to both of these devices in this panel. And in the last section here at the intake is just another access point for filters. And also you can see from this point, there's another temperature sensor here. That's actually the off evaporator temperature reading that will be uh, transmitted over air guard and also be on your controller. So uh, that's pretty much the, the unit. You can see the evaporator coil here. The reheat coil is kind of tucked in behind. Um, but that's the unit. So uh, as a summary, uh, these units are available in 8 tons up through 30 tons. And uh, they are going to be primarily used for certainly outdoor installations, most typically rooftop installations on a curb for bottom return and bottom supply. Um, you, uh, we have had guys put them on a pad outside of the building and set them up on a curb so that they can be uh, ducted in and ducted out in that fashion. Or we can actually have the return air come into this end and then we can leave through this panel uh, as a custom option. So again, keep that in mind. We've got a lot of nice features on the product. Um, We've got three different product series that we uh, do with this Grow Air application. Have any questions, certainly get a, hold of, uh, get a hold of us directly or get a hold of your local rep. And we'll be happy to run a load calculation for you, help you size up what equipment is needed for the application. Thanks for watching.